Hi everyone, this is your art teacher, Miss Dressel, and today I'm going to read for you Linus, The Little Yellow Pencil by Scott Magoon. The family art show was coming up and only the art with the most heart would win the grand prize. This is Linus, The Little Yellow Pencil. It was his first time entering the contest. And this is Ernie, Linus's eraser. He was pretty hard on Linus. We are not going to win with this drawing, he thought. What if everyone laughs at us when they see these dreadful drawings? That thought made his face turn redder with embarrassment. Then embarrassment turned to anger. You call that a straight line? It's too curvy. Rubba, dubba, rub, went Ernie, and Linus's line was gone. Linus drew more, but Ernie flipped. You can't even make a stick figure? Oh, I don't know, said Linus. I like this one. No, trust me, said Ernie. So Linus tried again, and again, but it was no use. Ernie didn't like a single mark Linus made. Rubba dubba rub went Ernie, and Linus's lines were gone. Soon all of Linus's drawings were gone. How could they enter the contest now? Linus watched from the sidelines as his family prepared for the show. He saw Brush paint her art proudly, freely, and happily. Must be nice to brush those cares aside, he thought, bristling with envy. Pen produced wonderful and surprising things for the show. Crayons created colorfully. But because Ernie doubted him, Linus began to doubt himself too, and that felt worse than anything. We should skip the show, Ernie said. The thought broke their heart in two. Maybe Ernie's right. I'm not an artist, Linus sighed. I should stop drawing. Maybe Linus is right after all, Ernie sighed. What if I'm ruining everything? Frustrated, Linus and Ernie were drawn to the very edge. But at that edge, Linus saw a cave. Feeling dull, he went inside and saw something in the darkness there. Who are you? Linus asked the thing in the darkness. I am smudge, the thing said. You look a bit worn down. What troubles you? I'm no artist. I am going to quit drawing, Linus said. I was once part of many pencils before you, Smudge began. You might say you are of my lineage, but look at me now. I am truly unable to draw. Instead, I wait here in the darkness, but you, there is still time. You must go on. But Ernie, he's my eraser. He really rubs me the wrong way. Let the eraser erase. It is no matter, Smudge said. Find your path by drawing it. Now go, get that lead out. Linus burst from the cave feeling sharper than ever. And just like Smudge told him to, he drew. He started with a squiggle, a scribble, and then a smudge. An idea blossomed in Linus. Erase just a little, Ernie, Linus said. Hey, something new, said Linus. I like it. Me too, said Ernie. Rubba, dubba, rub. Now the lines were Linus's and Ernie's. Linus was inspired. They drew wildly and joyfully together. It was the most fun either one of them had ever had. Until at last, it was opening night. Everyone was there. The line to get in went around the block. 
Linus's and Ernie's work drew a crowd. Their art had the most heart. Linus and Ernie lived happily ever after. The blend.